Well, if you're a fan of this show, chances are you've thought about loading up the van, hitching it up to the car and taking off around the country. It's the great Australian dream. Now, plenty of people talk about doing it. Not that many people actually get around to doing it. We're about to meet a fellow who's put his money where his mouth is. Paul Gibson is definitely what you'd call a silver lining kind of bloke. Even in a summer downpour, he's still got a smile on his face, and why wouldn't he? Travelling the country with the fifth wheeler hitched up and his wife Sandy by his side, it's a setup and lifestyle that plenty of people would envy. I was just uh, having a look at some of these photos and I saw the, the rig uh, fully complete with the, you've got the, the tinny on the top of the of the truck. There's two things in life you've got to take with you. Yeah. And that the, the cook's number one and the titty's number two. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Sandy are making the most of retirement and have the picks to prove it. They've spent the majority of the last six years on the road and aren't showing any signs of settling down anytime soon. For people sort of contemplating uh, that, that wandering lifestyle, what yes. would you say to them? Um, what would I say? I would say that it's a uh, a goal to look forward to and don't leave it too late. Yep. I should have retired five years earlier. Good advice. Yeah. Uh, is there, is there, are there any negatives that go with the, the travelling on the road? Coming home. <laughs> <laughs> For Paul, it's a well-earned reward. For 35 years, working as a pro fisho on the Gold Coast. I was looking at some of this vision before. This is, uh, this is you catching on the beach, is it? Yeah, that's correct. It's a job that's the very definition of tough on the gear. In fact, he reckons you'd only get about two years out of a truck before it was time to trade it in for a new one. That was before he was introduced to a thing called ERPS, the Electronic Rust Prevention System. It had been nearly 20 years ago that it was first brought to my attention. When we'd take the vehicles to trade them in, um, the car dealerships, uh, they wouldn't want to know us. Give you nothing. No, nah, they'd say take... There's Paul, the commercial fisherman. That, that car's been on the beach yeah. for years. They'll they, give you nothing. Well, they'd say if you took it to a farm, you might get two grand for it if you're lucky. You're oh. off the farmer for yeah. parts. Yeah. But um, since since I was introduced to this electronic rust prevention, yeah. um, the first uh, two and a half years we, we had the vehicle, I took it in and uh, the guy said, oh, geez, it's not a bad looking vehicle. I mean, I might have to give you about 20, 22,000 for well, I nearly fell off the chair. After 20 years of field testing, he's now a convert. In fact, he's got an ERPS installed on both of their Land Cruisers. Sandy's 100 Series and the tow car, Paul's custom dual axle cruiser use. It's quite a technical system. Even Paul admits he doesn't really know how it works, but he's seen firsthand the difference it makes, and that's enough for him. There's an electronic rust prevention system to suit just about every vehicle and application. You can find out more at next weekend's National 4x4 Outdoors show. And if you're heading along, be sure to catch up with Paul on the Herb Stand, where he'll no doubt be more than happy to talk about travelling the country and taking care of your gear. Clearly loves his red claw. <laughs> <laughs>